Hello, this is geert from the Apache NetBeans project. One of the really cool features that NetBeans has had for a very long time is the ability to connect from itself to the Chrome browser. And you can see that there are 470 some thousand people who are making use of this. It's an equivalent support for Chrome with IntelliJ IDEA with about 100,000 less users, which is kind of interesting. And um, the problem is it's not worked so well for some time. So let's take a look. Here I am in NetBeans. I've created an HTML5 project. Went in here, created an HTML5 JavaScript application. And I have set this um, drop down here to Chrome with NetBeans connector. Back in the browser, I've installed the NetBeans connector. So you can see that here. There's a little NetBeans icon up there. And let's take a look and run. And we see this. And this has been noticed over the years. It's a long standing bug. Probably related to the fact that this connector tool was created around about the time of Google Chrome version 23. And currently, we're at Google Chrome version 72. So it was created around about the time of Google Chrome version 23, way back in about 2012 or 14 or so, around about that time. And so it's not working. And there is a problem, and it's been described really quite well. And there are some clues in this particular issue. And it would be great to have this figured out. I think this is the closest we have to some kind of investigation with um, the starting point of a way forward, but we need to investigate further. I've been trying to do this. However, there's an interesting um, workaround that kind of works. I'm back in NetBeans, and now instead of choosing that, I'm gonna choose this one. So now I'm going to run this project into the Chrome browser without the connector. So whatever listening connector would normally need to be enabled, which isn't working, um, isn't involved here. And so we simply open into the browser normally. However, what we can now do is, thanks to the NetBeans connector plugin being installed, is say debug a NetBeans. Now look what happens. I'm gonna make this a bit smaller so you can see the two next to each other. Let's take a look at what happens and what we can do with this. So we have the CSS styles window pop open, as we would expect. And we can see that as we select something in the browser DOM, automatically that's selected back in the Chrome browser. So this is exactly the functionality we were hoping to have a means of deploying to the Chrome browser together with the connector. And also, let's create a new style sheet. So let's call this one styles. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a style for the H1. So color, uh, let's say red. Now we're going to drag and drop that in here. And now immediately you see the impact live in the browser. Also, when you select the H1, you can see the CSS styles window pops up. And we can also see that directly from NetBeans, we can switch from one value to another for the CSS style sheet. So we have the complete behavior, except that we can't select something in here and then see it reflected back in NetBeans, which was always nice. You could click on something here. So if you had multiple of these, You can see that though we can select items in the browser down window, we can't do the reverse, which is what we were able to do in the official way of working with the Chrome connector together with NetBeans. In short, we do actually have a lot of the functionality we want, far more than you would expect, but it would be great if somebody would take a look at this issue and try and figure out what the problem is. Could be related to what is described here, there's also some indication that it relates to port numbers, conflicts, um, port number 8008 being relevant here. So it would be great if somebody would take a look. 
but be aware that we have far more functionality than you might think. Thanks and have fun with NetBeans and also with using the Chrome connector with it.